All right, welcome to WROL Broadcast. Today I have with me Kage, Loot, and Sheriff Lobo. Today you might want to start over. You oh. don't have loot. <laughs> welcome to WROL Broadcast. I am Hate Mail. With me today I have Kage, Sheriff Lobo, and M4. And today we are talking about rebirth tokens and the peculiar strategy of WB to not release crystals sooner. And this is not an episode complaining about lack of rebirth crystals, which, well, actually, it probably is. But it's going to be more. <laughs> it's going to be more about we're just completely baffled because it's You're like, a, what? Where's my where's my rebirth tokens? Well, blah, it's blah, blah, a blah, blah, blah. pile of money that they could have just poured into their coffers that I just don't understand it. So Kage, as the resident fake to play player that you know, mitigates your roster, what would be the argument against opening it up a little bit more? Because at the rate it's going, it's going to take 35 years to rebirth. Maybe uh, maybe I'm still busy working on raids and endgame content that I don't want to flood the player base with rebirth crystals yet. So I'm trying to stick you guys around till 2099 when we're all older. Well, Maybe. and I could understand it not like them doing like 50 a month or something, but it's surprising to me that you can really, at best, rebirth one character a month. Which, with over 100 characters, I just, I'm very confused by it. Yeah, I'm not sure, man. I, you got to talk to the DC marketing team for that one. I think, I think you got a password with them, right? They're like, hey, this guy spends a lot of money. That's a... Uh, Let's open up our ears to him. That, that doesn't work in a lot of topics, um, <coughs> Wraith Arena. <laughs> so, <laughs> let's... <laughs> now, I can understand, um, an M4, maybe you can help me out on this understanding. I can understand a little bit them not wanting to go too crazy with it, because you, know, you don't want to have like a too big of a disparaging power gap. But on the same token, players that are... I wouldn't say new to the game, but that have been around for a little bit, but haven't you know been more free-to-play... They still have a ton of shards of some of the more common characters, like how Jordan Green Lantern, and could probably rebirth a decent amount of them. So I don't think it would make the power disparity too insane. I think with rebirth right now, the only only the meta characters matter with rebirth. That is not entirely true. I I ran my out recently, and I faced a lot of common rebirth on the lower levels of PvP. I climbed from 900 to top 35 last week and I face a ton of uh, leg- uh, RB1, Satana, Cheetah, name it. Name all of the scum on tunes. I've seen a rebirth of it. Yeah, I would almost think and it's then, helpful to those players. They're mostly level 70. Yeah. I think it's a cheaper way to, to have level 80 stats but you don't have to spend on the XP mats and green essence. I think that's the appeal. Well, originally, Rebirth was gated to being uh, level 80. Right, and there was a lot of backlash because only like the 1% would be able to use them, right? Right, and then since they changed it to level 60, it made it much more accessible. That's why I was surprised maybe it, you know, why they didn't add it to... like One of the ideas I had thought would be good would be, so you do red alerts, and then you pay your 500 gold to refresh it, and then when you, if you win it again the end, the 12th node would give one rebirth crystal. That might be a little bit too much, because I like the scarcity, but not this much. Well, it'll only be one thing... time. Like, you couldn't do it over and over. But Well, it's still one a day, right? Yeah. So you'll have, like, three rebirths a month. Okay, I think so maybe that's... that's a little much. <laughs> that's a little too much. So right now, you can't even rebirth one tune per month, unless you spend a ton of money, right? Because well, you only get five. Insane amount of money. Right? You get at five, one that's point, it. In one of the announcements, I thought they had it in there that you could get rebirth tokens through Red Alert. They did. It was. Uh, it's actually still on their webpage, uh-huh. if I remember correctly. Actually, I'm going to pull that up right now. Uh-huh. And while you're doing that, what I like about rebirth being scarce is it gives our roster back our uh, you know, identity. Right, because before, let's say, like at Twin City Legend, if you see that White Lantern Sinestro L five, you know it's him, right? Because right, but at this point, 
we all have that L5 characters. We don't have that uh, identity. So now I see that uh, RB2 Donna Troy. I know who it is. Yeah, running that running that full stun team. Yeah, I, I agree that there's something to be said about the enjoyment of how scarce they are. They're they're really valuable, so they mean something, and you have to think really carefully. I mean, I, I have. Uh, right now, I have the ability to rebirth two characters, but I'm kind of afraid to pull the trigger on one right now until I kind of find out what's going to happen next month. So uh, there's some, you know, kind of suspense about trying to make the best, the right decision with such limited resources. But then on the other hand, I've been seeing these memes on Facebook with like the dog begging at the table, like, brother, may I please have some spaghetti? That's kind of the way I also I feel about these rebirth tokens. <laughs> please, brother, I want some more rebirth tokens. Yeah, I just, I'm, I'm really surprised because, you know, the most expensive thing in the game is shards overall. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And if you have no reason to farm heavily some of these other game modes because there's just never enough rebirth tokens... I mean, I like. I think, I think they should be somewhat scarce, but I don't. I think they're too yeah, scarce. Right. Mm-hmm. I think I know why. Because they've they have the metrics. They've seen people farm five thousand shards of dunes. They don't even have RB tokens for. <laughs> well, that was why. when we suspected them to open it up. Now that it's been a couple months, <laughs> we, me, Bullsy, all of them, because we did. I did Black Adam, which I still haven't rebirth once. I did Flash, which I still haven't rebirth once. Then I went to RB4 and Cheetah, still thinking, oh, maybe they're going to open it up. Raids are going to become more frequent, um, which I'm happy they haven't been. And um, I, I, maybe that's what it is. Maybe they're trying to get raids to a point where people are excited and happy to do them, not clutching you know, their chair, dreading them coming, but also wanting the rebirth tokens. So maybe that's what it is. Maybe raids will start releasing them. Maybe raids will be frequent. I don't know what the plan is. That's that's the problem. I don't think we know what the plan is with them. And if there is never going to be a plan to open them up, because we have seen them take many years to make things happen in the past, it will be highly disappointing. Because after a while, it's just going to be like, all right, you got one more new character to upgrade. I think it's just funny how they gate the one rebirth crystal behind 500 million points. That's like <laughs> the vast majority of people not going to be able to hit that. Doing raids, yeah. There's about 36 people that hit it last time, or 25, something like that. Yeah, you figure out of what 80,000 players or whatever it is. Yeah. So this goes back to this perception that rebirth is just a pay-to-win thing. That only the elite super roster people are gonna have access to this re- rebirth. And that's so, where I, I think it should have been more available. Like I, I think Seed should award more than two and one. It should be ten, five, five. and maybe two for the top, you know, higher 25 or something, top 35. And then... I think they should just, they should just dispense it liberally with uh, Siege. You know, if you rank top 5,000, everyone gets one rebirth crystal, and then top 100, it gets, like, a rebirth. Yeah, give them, I mean, give people a reason to, like, because right now there's only, like, 10, 20 people that regularly buy Siege Energy. That would give people a reason. A lot of people would fight for it then. Two rebirth tokens for World's Finest, that is just ludicrous. Yeah, it's kind of garbage. It just surprises me because you would think if rebirth tokens were a little more prevalent, people would farm the crap out of things. They would spend so many gems. Mm -hmm. I know I would. But also, I could kind of understand you don't want it to be too... because you don't want to see teams of RB5, like whole rosters right. of them because people would just not have a chance against I think, them. But the I think Shards will it, keep that in check too, though. Well, I think part of it is that they, they're they afraid of losing their whales because before Rebirth, you probably got really bored of the game and you're like, should I retire? Should I not? Yeah, I mean, that's true too. But I'm also on the same mindset that the Rebirth tokens are so slow that I'm starting to get bored again. Mm-hmm. Right. I mean... It's good to dangle a carrot that's hard to reach, but right now there's no carrot. I don't know where to get it. Yeah. Yeah, give me something to go after. Maybe, a, you know, a, I guess that's what raids were supposed to be, but give us a game mode that's fun to play that we want to fight for. I mean, I honestly, if they just added more... I mean, granted, we're already doing it, but I think 
a larger pool of players would make us make it a lot harder for um, Siege to win if there was more rebirth tokens. Or maybe have like where in red see the, this would be another thing I would love if say you you complete your red alert and then instead of paying 500 gems you pay like a thousand gems or two thousand gems or something crazy and it resets red alerts to something extremely hard and then rebirth tokens are the reward at the end. Uh, something I want to mention is that rebirth is pretty much off the table for me because I'm one of those people who exploit PVP's wraith or the the wraith flaws. So I just go, oh, you know what? That Rebirth is going to push me over the power level that I want to be at, so I'll lose points in Wraith, so I don't have really care or incentive. I don't get excited about Rebirth like the rest of you whales. Well, yeah, but if there are, and eventually it will happen, if there's heavy Rebirth teams, you may not be able to beat that team with your Gear 11 level 70 team. I mean, I'm already beating these uh, Black Adam you know, RB5 teams with just just fine. True. But I see, I see what you're saying, though. Yeah, I don't know. I just, I'm very confused by it, is all. And I'm sure we're going to get a bunch of comments from some newer players that think that we're crybabies about seeds, or <laughs> about rebirth crystals, which, you know, it's true. You know, make a podcast and cry about whatever problems you have. Uh, I mean, right. us crying about Wonder Girl got the Wonder Girl nerf, so you know, <laughs> we, 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 we do we do perform miracles. <laughs> no, I was gonna say, she didn't really, she didn't notice it. She's still uh, the probably the most powerful character in the game. So, yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, I think that's it. So we'll go ahead and wrap this up. We just wanted to uh, voice some confusion. I would say air some grievances. Yeah. Give us some rebirth tokens. I want to upgrade some characters. Get some rebirth. Yeah. Hey everyone, it's Tootitron. Thank you for listening to WROL Broadcasts. If you like the show, consider becoming a patron at patreon.com slash WROL Broadcasts. You guys think if I go out of my way next siege to lose to hate a bunch, that he might send me those dirty sacks of his? I hope so.